I'm Gail C, Director of Teaching and Learning here at ASD, and this week I have the pleasure of, actually for two weeks, the pleasure of having Chris Chanitsky with us, and um, he is here to work with our science teachers all the way from our lower elementary through high school. Chris, do you want to tell us about what's been happening this week with your work with our teachers? Sure, yeah. Uh, so I spent the first week working with middle school and high school, and um, we started just kind of revisiting some of the the things that I noticed when I travel around schools that might not be coming through <coughs> with a, so a bigger part of the message of NGSS. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went through a model learning experience and then mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to sit with each of the groups. Each team. Yep, each yeah. of the teams. So um, for the first couple of days, it was all middle school, working with sixth grade team, seventh grade team, eighth grade team, looking at their units, talking about assessment, trying to switch some of the thinking from you know, learning about in the classroom to figuring mm -hmm. these things out so students are constructing their own understanding. Right. Yep. And, and then we did the uh, same thing in high school for the second half of the week. Okay. And Gabby, who is our um, elementary science coordinator, um, you were working with Chris on the elementary uh, curriculum. Can you tell us about what you did with the teams down here in the elementary? Absolutely. Well, um, the teams have identified a unit that they wanted to have a closer look at in, in terms of its rigour for NGSS. And Chris has been dynamic and helpful in making sure that different elements of NGSS come through from starting with the phenomena and anchoring phenomena, that the learning experiences are all three-dimensional and the assessment piece lines up too. And um, yeah, the teams have had time to not only reflect on that, but also produce and, re and recreate what needs to be done. So Chris, as we're talking about NGSS, <coughs> Next Generation Science Standards, um, I'd, could, would you mind sharing with our parent group mm. what that means in terms of, of changes that are happening in the teaching of science when they're anchored in the NGSS standards? Yeah, so the, the standards are really different because they are what we call three-dimensional, right? Mm -hmm. So every standard isn't just content, which is typical of right. traditional science standards and other standards, mm -hmm. but there's an, a practice in the standard, and there's uh, these cross-cutting concepts in the standards. Can you give us an example of what we'd say would be a cross-cutting concept? Sure, so um, stability and change is uh -huh. a cross-cutting concept. Patterns is a cross-cutting concept. Right. So these are things that we see cross-cutting through all the sciences. Yeah, weaving through. Yeah, but they're really ways of thinking. Mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. we, they're tools for our students to think about phenomena. Right. So it's how scientists think about phenomena, so right. it's how we want to encourage our students to think about To phenomena. think like scientists, yeah. right? And, and if the standards, yeah. which are for assessment, are 3D, yes. then it's only fair that we're instructing in three-dimensionally in our classroom. So it forces the issue kind of backwards. Right, right. That's really what makes this different. And I like the way you start um, the unit with uh, students with showing them a, a phenomenon that mm -hmm. they have to discover, unpack, what, what would you say about that? Um, ideally they can explain that phenomenon. Right. And so a good phenomenon requires the content of the unit in order to explain. Okay. So they work through the whole unit towards truly understanding that phenomenon. Right. And it could be something like wind, mm -hmm. the good phenomena, but it could mm -hmm. be, you know, um, just a plant growing. Right, you know, right. It depends so. on what science content you want to get at. Very different from when we probably went to school and the way we learned science. So I, I think it's great that we've got students that are really being shown how to think like a scientist and using that in inquiry um, as they come into to the content area. So that's wonderful. So we thank you for being here and working um, across all of our divisions mm. and really helping us dig deeply into looking at the work that we're doing in science to make sure that we're providing that really strong foundation for our students as they move through yeah. and progress through the grades. Great. So thank it's you for being here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Gary.